Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Unify Access Rescue Key Switch. The Access Rescue Key Switch has been out for quite a while and I haven't done a video on it until now. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit www.mactelecomnetworks.com. You can find me on Twitter at MacTelecomN. And if you'd like to support the channel, we have affiliate links down below. First off, why would we use the Access Rescue Key Switch? Well, as it says here, emergency key switch providing open door redundancy in the event of a system malfunction. If your Unify Access Hub went offline or malfunctioned and you didn't have this key switch and your electric strike was set to fail secure, you wouldn't be able to open the door. This is an emergency key relay switch and it provides two keys. And it's compatible with both fail safe and fail secure lock systems. We're gonna be doing it on electric strike, not on a mag lock. The access rescue key switch is $79 USD MSRP. And if you're looking for a wiring diagram, just come to the site and I'll leave a link down below and we'll scroll down to instructions and manuals, click on the installation guide and we could see here all that's included and how we do it. This will tell you how to drill it into your wall, as well as the different types of wiring. If we were wiring it for a mag lock with a power relay, it shows you how to do it here. If we are doing it through a dry relay, you would do option B. And option C is for our electric lock with a dry relay, which we'll be doing, and I do have a 12 volt battery. This video assumes that you already have your Unify Access hubs and your readers hooked up. If you don't have that already done, I'll leave a video link down below on the installation guide. Now we're gonna go over to my desk and get it all hooked up into the Unify Access hub with our 12 volt battery. First, let's take a look at the Unify Access key switch. On the front, we have this faceplate covering the keyhole and it has the Ubiquiti branding on it. On the back side of the key switch, we have our normally open, our COM port, and then we have our normally closed. And you can see where we will be putting all of our conductors into. If we take the faceplate off, you can see where the key goes into and how we open the door. And there are two holes for mounting the device. We also get a pair of keys for the access rescue key switch, and we get a bag of anchors and screws. So this is all the gear that we're gonna need to use. I have a Protex 12 volt battery. We're using the Unify Access Electric Strike. And on the back here, you could set it to fail safe or fail secure just by moving the screw. We have our Unify Access Hub, which I'll get plugged into a switch. And then we have our rescue key switch. We also have some of these leads that we'll be plugging into the battery. I'll be using 18 two conductor cable to connect these to the hubs. And then we have some Wago clips. I think that's how you pronounce them. These do come with the electric strikes, but you could order a bag of a hundred of these for about $35 USD. I'll put an Amazon affiliate link down below. These really do come in useful. So here's the wiring diagram for the electric strike. I'm gonna get this all wired up and then we'll do some testing for the Unify Access Rescue Key Switch. And this is it all wired up, which it's a bit of a mess, but there's a lot of cables in one little area. From our normally open on our key switch, that's going to our positive on the battery and the negative of the battery is going to our electric strike. There's also other connections in here, but take a look at the wiring diagram. The Unify Access electric strike is in fail secure, so if the power goes out, this will stay locked as it's in the lock position right now. I have an NFC card program for Unify Access, and if we swipe it on the reader, the Unify Access electric strike will open up. So now you can see that it's opened and we could get in through the door. We have our Unify Access Rescue key switch in the lock position currently, but if we put the key in and then we turn it to unlock, it will unlock the electric strike. So now if there was a malfunction with the Unify Access hub or if it lost power, we wouldn't be able to get in this door unless we opened it with the key switch. Let's unpower the Unify Access hub just by unplugging it from PoE. The Unify Access Hub is powered off. We have no light showing up and the electric strike is in the lock position. We can still see the power is off. I'll put the key into the Access Rescue key switch and then I'll turn it to the unlock position. Now with it in the unlock position, we could easily open the door and we could get in to see what's going on with our Unify Access Hub. So that's gonna do it for this video on the Unify Access Rescue key switch. You would need one of these key switches per doors that you wanna use it with. You'd also wanna make sure that your network gear is on some sort of UPS just in case there is a power failure. If you have any questions about this video, please leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.